Hello everyone, my name is Jake, I am a nurse here in London, and welcome to my channel. For this video, I will be unboxing the COVID-19 self-testing kit given to NHS workers starting this week. And I will also be doing the actual test itself in this video. So if this is something you want to see or you're just curious how to do the self-testing, then keep watching this video. Before I begin, I would like to do a quick shout out to my ever loyal subscribers, Carmina Valencia and Mahal Kita, who always watch my video and never fail to leave a comment. Thank you very much, guys. Also, I'd like to do a shout out to Marco, who is in Germany, and to my family and friends who continue to support me by watching every single video that I release. Thank you very much for all of your support. Okay, let's start. So in the last two weeks, a self-testing kit has been made available to NHS workers all over the UK. Employees have been told to test themselves twice a week for the next 12 weeks. I have received one of those kits and this is it. It is called Innova SARS-CoV-2 Antigen Rapid Qualitative Test. So it is manufactured by Innova Medical Group Incorporated. I can also confirm that this is the same kit being used by private agencies as well as schools in the UK to test their students before they go for their Christmas holiday. All right, let's unbox this kit. So here it is. Let's open it. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the table and I will individually get what is inside and show you what it is, okay? So the first one, you have a set of um, disposable sampling swab. So there are 25 swabs. Next, there is um, a leaflet talking about the test. Okay, so it, it's quite a long leaflet. Da -da -da. And it's basically telling us the intended use, the principles of the procedure, what reagent is being used, what are the materials inside. And it also shows how to collect the specimen and how to handle it. And once you, you have it, how to test it. Okay. But to all NHS workers who were given this kit, they were provided a link to a video which you need to watch properly so that you know how to do the testing. So I've already viewed that video beforehand. Okay, so this is the leaflet. Next, you have your bag of tubes with the cover. Let me show you. So, this one. There you are. So that is to cover the top of the tube once you have the sample. Okay, we also have a bag of two bottles of the regents that you use. Okay. And then what you have left in the box are the actual cartridge where you drop your sample so it it's gonna look like a pregnancy test and I'll show you in a minute when we do the actual test on myself. So those are the contents of the self-testing kit. Now let's do the swab. So the first thing you're gonna do is to blow your nose to make sure that you've removed, you know, all the boogers <laughs> and, the, and the mucus in your nose so that we can get um, a proper sample and not just the mucus, okay? So, excuse me. So far, my nose are clean. It's all done. Let's do a hand job. Okay. Okay, now let's get the swab. So, this is the swab stick. You have an end which is just a clear plastic and you have the other end which has the cotton tip. This is the tip that should be touching. 
your throat and your nose. So if you follow instructions, you need to open on the top side, which does not have the cotton part. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we need to swab both tonsils, the left and right, in an up and down motion three to five times. Using the same swab, we will be swabbing our nose. We need to insert at least an inch or until we feel resistance. So that means it's already on the back part of the nose. Now swabbing your own throat can be very challenging because you might feel like you want to gag, you might not actually swab the tonsil. So one thing that could help you is if you have a mirror. So you have a mirror right here. So then I'll be putting that in front of me so that I can see my tonsils. You can also use a phone torch to illuminate your mouth. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is to prepare the tube where we will dip our swab. So, let's get one tube. Okay, one tube, okay? And we also need to prepare the cover with the nozzle, which is this one, okay? We need to get the regent now, which is this one. Get the regent. We need to drop six drops into the test tube. Okay, so here's the tube into the six drops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now you can rest this in an area where it will not topple over. So it depends on what you have. Okay, after dropping, the regent, you need to wipe this nozzle. You have to close it first and then wipe the, this area so that when you do the next test, it will not be contaminated. So I've got a sterile cleansing wipes here. So I'm going to wipe this area from top. Okay, that is all done. So I have the pen light here and I have the mirror in front of me just under the camera. And let's do the swab. So, this pen light is not working. Okay. <laughs> <Got that. laughs> so, I've got a torch here, and I've got the mirror right in front of me just under the camera. Okay, so let's light up. Okay. Aha, there you are. Hold on, this seems to be very <laughs> difficult, actually. Okay, let's try. Ah. Uh, hmm, I need to get closer. <laughs> According to the video, if you gag, that means you're doing it right. So, don't worry. I've done the left tonsil. I'm gonna do the right side. Okay. Both tonsils done. Now let's do the nose. So, an inch is just just you know all of the cotton bits inside to the little bit more okay so you need to tilt your head back put it inside hold it up oh, 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 oh. Oof. okay one <coughs> five six Okay. <laughs> Sorry guys. It really makes me it made me cough. 
Okay, we've done the right, um, the right um, nostril. <laughs> now let's do the left. No, actually, let me get the tissue. Wow, I'm crying. Okay. Okay. Let's do the left side and get this done. It doesn't feel very nice um, because um, the tip is like furry, so it makes you want to sneeze. And if you do it properly, like deep enough, you'll also feel like it's also at the back of your throat. So it's it's not, so it's very, very uncomfortable, but you have to bear it. Okay, let's do the left side now. Okay, head tilted back. Okay. Okay. It's not easy to do it by yourself. Let me try. Okay. No, my nose is. Okay, sorry. Now, you need to get the tube with the regent. Okay. And then dip this in there. Now, you need to squeeze the tube intermittently while twisting the um, swab stick for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, before you remove the swab stick, you have to squeeze the tube to try and get all the samples you've taken to remain inside the tube okay so squeeze it like you're drying it out okay oops sorry <laughs> sorry okay <clears throat> now you're going to throw the swab pop the cover on okay Okay, now you got the cartridge, you could have it ready at the very start but if you take, like, if like me you took quite some time because it's very uncomfortable then it's actually fine to open it at this time. So this is the cartridge. Um, the bottom part is where we drop our sample. And then this is where the result is going to be. C is for control. Okay, if there is a line on the C, um, but only one line that is negative. If you have both a line on the C and the T, that's positive. And if you only have a line on the T, that is invalid, meaning the test is invalid. Okay, so we're going to drop the sample now. Okay, so we need to drop two drops. One, two. Okay, you need you will discard the rest of the sample, and you need to lay this in a flat surface. It's a because it's a lateral flow device, so the liquid will seep towards the testing area. So I'm gonna put this on the table now. Now we will set our timer for thirty minutes. So that will be 8.30 p.m. Okay? Okay, so 30 minutes has passed. It's now time to look at our result. Are you ready, guys? Okay, so here it is. Ooh, let's focus, focus. Okay, so as you can see, the red line is only on the letter C or the control, which means our test is negative. So that's it. That is how you do your self 
test for the COVID-19. So it's definitely not an easy thing to do, it's very uncomfortable, but you have to bear it, especially if you are an NHS worker, because we have to make sure that we are not carrying the virus whilst we care for our patients. So hopefully after 12 weeks, they will give us another box, or maybe in 12 weeks, there will already be a vaccine. In the latest news today, it said that the Pfizer vaccine has been approved by the MHRA, for use here in the UK. As to when it will be released, I'm not really sure, but we'll keep an eye out for that and we'll see if we'll soon have the vaccine. Once the vaccine is released, are you one of those people willing to try it first? Tell me what you think by writing down in the comment section below. And that's it for now guys, thank you for watching this video. If you found this informative, don't forget to click that like button below. And if you have not subscribed to me yet, please click the subscribe button because I will be making more informative videos just like this, as well as videos about life here as an overseas nurse in the United Kingdom. And of course, keep your notification bell on so that you will be notified when my next video is out. Once again, thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.